Hi everybody, I agree, I disagree. Now those phrases are absolutely fine, but it's good to know some alternatives. In this lesson, I'll teach you some other ways to agree and disagree. Welcome back to English for Professionals. I'm Derek and I'm here with another short lesson for you busy people. Before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. Hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell. And now let's get started with the lesson. So first of all, we'll take a look at some different ways to say I agree. Imagine Barbara is your colleague and she says the following during a meeting. I think we should hire an external agency for this project. You agree with this, so you can say, absolutely. Say it with me, absolutely. Or, that makes sense. Say it with me, that makes sense. Or, I'd go along with that. Say it with me, I'd go along with that. Great, and now we'll take a look at some different ways to express that you strongly agree with something. So Tim is another colleague and he says the following during a discussion. Our IT system needs to be upgraded soon. You think the same way and feel strongly about this, so you can say, I couldn't agree more. Say it with me, I couldn't agree more. Or, you're absolutely right. Can you hear the way I put the stress on absolutely? You're absolutely right. Say it with me. You're absolutely right. Or, that's exactly what I wanted to say. Again, the stress on exactly. That's exactly what I wanted to say. Say it with me. That's exactly what I wanted to say. Excellent. Now let's take a look at a couple of examples of how you can express partial agreement. So when you agree with part of what someone is saying, but not everything. Linda is responsible for finance in your company and she says the following. We need to reduce costs and lay off about 50 staff by the end of the year. You agree that the company needs to reduce costs, but you don't think it's necessary to lay off 50 staff. You can say, I agree with you up to a point, but do you really think we need to lay off so many? Say it with me. I agree with you up to a point, but do you really think we need to lay off so many? Or, I see where you're coming from, but I don't think we need to lay off that many. Say it with me. I see where you're coming from, but I don't think we need to lay off that many. Great, now let's look at some different ways to say I disagree. Roberto is another colleague and he says the following during a meeting. We need to increase the project budget. You disagree, so you can say, I'm afraid I can't go along with that. We often use I'm afraid to make it softer or more polite. I'm afraid I can't go along with that. Say it with me. I'm afraid I can't go along with that. Or, I'm not so sure about that. Say it with me. I'm not so sure about that. Or, I'm not sure I would agree with that. Say it with me. I'm not sure I would agree with that. And finally, we'll take a look at some different ways to express that you strongly disagree with something. Elena is a business partner and you've had some problems recently. I'm afraid we'll have to cancel the partnership. You strongly disagree with this, so you can say, you can't be serious. Notice the stress on the serious and the way the intonation rises at the end. You can't be serious. Say it with me. You can't be serious. Or, I'm sorry, but that's totally unacceptable. Here the stress is on totally. I'm sorry, but that's totally unacceptable. 
Say it with me. I'm sorry, but that's totally unacceptable. Or, I'm sorry, but there's no way I can accept that. Here the stress is on no way. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can accept that. Say it with me. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can accept that. So there we have it. Lots of useful alternatives for agreeing and disagreeing. I hope you found the lesson helpful. And if there are any other areas of business English that you need help with, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to cover them in an upcoming lesson. You'll find all the examples from this lesson listed in the description below. If you liked the lesson, hit the like button and share with your friends and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already and join my email list. Every two weeks I send out my free vocabulary email with additional business English, words from the news and everyday English for you to learn. The link to join is in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.